Hey everyone, it's only a day until election day in the US and as usual it's all coming down to the wire, although that could just be a lie designed to get people out and vote. This week saw Joe Biden call half the electorate Cuban garbage, as a twist, although it's unclear if this was genuinely a misspeak or if he was potentially hoping to throw Kamala Harris under the bus for making him retire. In response, of course, Donald Trump showed up at a rally in a garbage truck and owned it, thus winning over a large section of unionised Labour that would have probably have voted for Harris and also forcing the media to explain what Biden had said. And after all that circus, I'd say I've not seen the Democrats this angry since the time that Abraham Lincoln and the Republican Party decided to free the slaves. For what it's worth, Kamala would be a complete disaster, unable to string a coherent sentence together, widely mocked and probably the worst example of a diversity hire most people have ever seen. And yet I actually stand to win quite a large amount of money if she does win, largely because six months ago I bet on the winner not being Trump or Biden and I got a thousand to one on that bet. And yet, on the other hand, Trump has survived more assassination attempts than she has interviews, even the ones where she got the questions in advance. Here's a good analogy for you. If you've ever used spray paint before and you shake the can and hear that little ball rattling around inside, that's what I think's going on inside Kamala Harris's head most of the time. But anyway, elsewhere. Well, in the UK, it was the budget delivered by Labour Chancellor Rachel Reeves, or maybe it was Rachel Thieves. Either way, the pound is down about 5% since last month and national insurance is going up, which means businesses will be hiring fewer people and the only billionaires paying any taxes will be the normal people who win the euro millions. If you are after a good accountant, I'd personally recommend going with one who has a specific tax loophole or law named after him. Also in the news, I read that apparently quantum physicist Erwin Schrodinger has been outed for some horrendous things he did back in the day. And we have to be careful with language about this one, but let's just say that he died in 1961, so it's a great shame he never got to enjoy Jimmy Savile on the television. It does make you wonder, though, if he invented that story about the cat as a way to distract the police and he'd actually had a kidnapped child in a box. And Kemi Badenoch was elected leader of the Conservative Party. She's of Nigerian heritage, so I can't help but wonder if the other MPs somehow fell for a very convincing email about how she'd changed their fortunes in the election. Anyway... See you next week. If you like these, click subscribe.